Yo, what is good, my other baby people? What is good, yo? <sighs> so, I honestly, honestly have been tricked and bamboozled, and I am not happy about it, man. For some reason or another, I have almost started to like a character that I'm not supposed to like and that's not cool I hate when this show can make me like characters that are supposed to be the enemy and we're the enemy so I have a bad bad feeling that this is just the beginning of uh, them making me like characters that I probably should not be liking so with that being said, we definitely, definitely have one of the more broken characters that had shown up in the show uh, pretty much resurface and just show us how much he hasn't uh, really lost. Like, he may, he may have came off relatively nice and uh, not, not too deadly this week's episode, but as time grows on through it, you can see he's probably almost more evil. Oh, excuse me, I just woke up not long ago. But <clears throat> so you can probably tell that he has a little bit more momentum behind him when it comes down to allowing himself to use the enemies that made him fall from where he was to then capturing, or not capturing, but taking care of one person in a company that then helps him control the whole entire company because of how it all plays out so it's this weird notion that he honestly knows too much about the business life and too much about um like courts and stuff like that so because of it he's right up there when it comes down to actually um you know, being ready to fight at any given time. So I like that aspect about him in the sense of he's not just going to fight you with like his powers all the time. He can easily uh, find ways to manipulate the system, find ways to uh, exert himself into things that he really shouldn't be a part of, you know, like a, a, a freaking place where he pulls off the guy in the blue suit. Objection! And <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he was dying to say that for whatever reason. It seemed like he was a little bit too excited to do that. But uh, the thing about starting to like a character that I don't really shouldn't care for, man. Um, when he was going on cells and stuff, I was absolutely dying and enjoying every moment of it. So... I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm I'm an honest man. I'm, I'll tell you straight how it is. I enjoyed how his character uh, changed, including after hearing that this girl was about to, who pretty much just showed up in this place, the worst place of all times where we learn in the past, which is really cool that, you know, not only are they bringing back areas that, you know, I don't think we'd necessarily been here uh, many times in season, I think they like maybe glance upon this place uh, in season one, but we didn't really have the story of why it was the slums and you know the people in it and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, you know, this season starts in the beginning and we learn everything we need to know about it. So it's those types of things. I'm gonna get hit by the screw. Oh, I was still blocking. Um, those are the types of things that really showed off what they were kind of setting in stone i mean sure we knew the background of this place now and that kind of added a little bit more of like oh man this place is you know this place is just known for stuff to pop off and what happens the rise of a new guild pops up the next time we go there or the next time something pops off you know so it's this is just a place of honest beginnings for some of the craziest powerful people that have shown up in this show but let's not forget the man who has really kicked off the second half of this season with an interesting start 
and he honestly didn't do much this week. And that's the guy who is sitting behind the chair, dropping drips of blood from his fingertip into a cup. And while doing it, the mouse-looking symbol, or rat, just starts chuckling like he was... <clears throat> like he was truly enjoying it. So, I honestly don't know what the heck that was all about, but to be fair... I want to see more of it. Um, and then he said it's almost complete. So it sounds like what people were telling me in the comment, uh, in my comments from last week or from when that guy was announced, he has the power to like judge your crimes and your, and you know, be just punish you for whatever you've done in crime, crime style. So it kind of comes to if if his ability can punish your crimes and another person's ability has to deal with money two th both of those things are man made you know what i mean like crimes are something men and humans made to be like oh well now we can see on paper what you did and why you're a bad person pretty much that's what a crime is i mean back in the day they didn't care you just you just die. You get the ex you get the chair, and they're like, "Oh, if you were, if you did something ridiculous, ridiculous, crazy, they would remember you." You know, like pirates and stuff. Oh, that Scarby dog, he killed a whole village of people. Yard, you know, like that. That was as, that was about as far as a crime would go. They would list down the stuff, give you the execution, and you're done. Nowadays, you know, you go through all this. You're gonna go in jail. You're gonna sit and rot, and then sooner or later, if you know. Um, depending on how bad the punishment is, you actually have a chance to get out and then you can do it again or get revenge on the people who literally put you in there, you know? So it's such a flaw system and it's, it's definitely 100% man, man made. So what would then an ability be capable of doing in the sense of how far does the crime have to go? Like, how much of a crime do you need to commit to be completely destroyed by this guy? So, um, I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested in the overall, s just seeing what plays out. I feel like she got the worst special out of everybody that came out. That that's too bad. Unless, yeah, no, it's trash. She didn't even get a power up. She just had to use her power up hand manually. So yeah, she's trash. Um. But yeah, I really do look forward to like having now what four organizations coming out ahead at each other. We got the new guy, the rat. We got the new guild, the armed dis uh, detectives, and the mafia, all with ridiculously powerful people, and with some people that we haven't even seen in full swing. I also kind of forgot that the guy from the armed agency the the top guy the main guy who owns the contract to have gifted people in a in a area and make money off of it he was meeting he met up with the main mafia guy the main mafia boss and he wasn't really shooken up at all and i think he held his own uh when something popped off so it's like not only is he um you know the reason why all these people are together he's not something to be waving a stick at if people still say that <laughs> um but yeah overall i truly truly love this episode we got a lot to pray for with this show when it comes down to the overall narrative of how the story is being told because every time i see an episode i feel like i could watch another four five six you know like it just feels like there's so much more they build up every time they talk about the show that it just makes me that much more entertained in the sense of I want to know more, I want to see more, and I honestly want to know where uh, the new guild's going to play out, or if if the new guild, the main guy in the new guild, is going to be like a way of showing us how strong the mouse guy is or the rat guy, which would be that would kind of suck for him. I mean, I just started liking him, and not to mention, he used the help of people that defeated him. Like, he's definitely humbled up. I mean, we went from him being in the streets, poor, with nothing, to now the owner of a company within a couple of weeks, 
uh, maybe even days. And because of this, he is in a position to pretty much do whatever he wants uh, when it comes down to make finding some book. I think the book that's going to help heal his wife. And then, you know, he seems like he still has the same ambitions and the same goals. And that's why I feel like his character can easily be killed off. Because we already know pretty much everything about him. And now he's going right back to how he was from previous uh, times of meeting him. So, yeah, I, this is pretty dangerous territory that he just stepped into. So, let me know what you guys are thinking of the new guild and all of this stuff transpiring and... How fire this show is. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I will definitely talk to you in the next one. I'm your boy, the Anime G, and I hope you had an awesome day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. And I hope to talk to you in the next one. Peace.